deem the UN's participation and involvement in condemning the animal dolphin hunts in Taiji as necessary. As deplorable and abhorrent as the actions are, my argument against the adoption of the resolution stems from the fact that it would prove ineffective as Japan is not obligated to accept or ratify such the resolution. I will address my argument for against this resolution on the following two tiers. Firstly, on it serving no constructive purpose, and secondly, on its leading to detrimental outcomes that do not serve to benefit any party involved in this matter. My first tier argues that the UN's passing of such a resolution is ineffective and would serve no constructive purpose. Due to Japan's sovereignty and right, as well as the ability to opt out and not ratify or accept such a resolution. The UN is unable to, through a resolution, decrying or demanding the cessation of dolphin hunting and the slaughter in Taiji to legally enforce this resolution on Japan. Mere condemnation or expression of disapproval does not cause or have any legally binding consequences or ramifications on Japan should they refuse to comply or ratify this agreement. As these operative clauses do not preclude any co concrete actions on Japan's part or on the international community to en en enforce punitive measures such as sanctions or trade embargoes on Japan. Neither does the UN have suffi sufficient political clout to lead to any concrete action on Japan, either by ensuring they ratify an accepted resolution or by leading its member states to jeopardize their ties to Japan by enforcing such punitive measures in theory. As such, such a resolution simply demanding or decrying such action on Japan's part would have little use in creating any co concrete change in Taiji fishermen's inhumane behavior and unnecessary killing of cetaceans without the government of Japan being legally obligated by international law to make such changes under such a resolution. My second tier argues that the UN's passing of such a resolution decrying the hunting or demanding the cessation of dolphin hunts will simply lead to negative consequences for both parties involved, Japan and the international community at large. Firstly, the US decision to only target Japan in this specific case of animal abuses would shed negative light on them in their decision-making processes. A stark contrast is drawn in their attitudes towards Japan for the Taiji hunting and a lack of action on other member states and countries where other countries commit similar animal rights abuses on other animals or also practice hunting of aquatic animals for aquariums and the use and use it for other commercial purposes. This vastly different attitude and approach taken towards different countries potentially results in the UN being and its member countries being posited as having a bias against Japan and serving their own political interests on an international front. As such, this is this can be seen in Japan's calculated portrait and characterization of the U.S. involvement in the matter, particularly with the U.S. and the U.S. ambassador to Japan's active decrying of the issue as being cultural imperialist, disrespecting the, internet, the Japanese community's rights to their own traditions, as an instance of this process already taking place. As such, this unnecessary negative portrayal of the Western countries and the UN as a whole, when the resolution does not bring any concrete impacts or societal change towards Japan, thus renders this resolution undesirable, and hence this house is not in favour of its adoption.